Yeah, Big Boss, um, obviously it was a surprise for many of us seeing you sign for the New Pirates. Um, it wasn't exactly a regular you know, shooting the lights up at Super Sport. Um, just how exactly did this move come about um, to join the Pirates? Um, what I could say, I was at home driving when I received the call from London Pirates saying that they were at my services. At the moment, I was confused. I didn't know what does it mean. So I was told that I'm going to move to Orlando Pirates, by Orlando Pirates, and they said I must come to training to join them as they had opened at Sportsport Sport, not open. So after receiving the call, I went straight to tell my mother that I had to come to Joburg because it was a short notice because they were like, I must come the following day. So after that, that's all happened. And uh, it's a different club, different mentality. Everything is quite different. What have you made of your first couple of weeks here at Donald Pirates? And what's maybe some of the core differences between Donald Pirates and Super Sport United? Um, what I can say, it's a big institution, has a lot of history. That's something that you should respect. And I feel like I came here as a person who wants to learn because I'm still young. The people who are in my position are very experienced, very old. They've been in the game for too long. So I told myself that if I don't change my style of play, as long as I learn something from them, because they've been here in the team for long and they lost it, so I could mix the two and probably something I'll get out. Just, just describe that feeling. I mean, Lorenz mentioned you were not playing as much as Super Sports. So when you get a call from a pirate saying, we want you, that feeling is there no are you not shocked it was like a dream come true actually i didn't believe it first up until they called again because <laughs> the second call i didn't answer it up until i was home to make sure that i'm next to my mother so she was like are you sure this is orlando pirates are you sure <laughs> and i was like yes i'm sure so i feel like it's a dream come true to play for Orlando pirates and what are you hoping for I mean, it's, it's a loan deal until the end of the season Maybe there's an option to extend it, but what is it that you're hoping for with this deal? I'm hoping to get as much game time as I can, as I'll be a better player if I get game time, and I'll build up my confidence more, and I hope to make the deal permanent, because it's a big institution. You might, be not, you might not be aware that your situation is very, very rare, that an Orlando Pirates will take a player on loan from Super Sport. It's one of the very unique situations, but... Uh, with an ambition that you want to stay here. What do you think, when you put a finger to it, what do you think made you not to command a starting place at Supersport and now you are here, you get him to get game time, even a, a starting lineup? But, um, what I could say is that when I left Supersport, I told myself that I don't want to do the same mistakes I made. As you speak to coaches, they tell you what you like and what you must improve on. So when I came here, I had the idea of but I must improve on. So I could say that playing my football here, it's something that the coach liked because at Super Sports, I played my football and I still needed to add an extra something. But here it was enough for me. I must work on how the system works of the team, Orlando Pirates. So I feel like it helped me a lot to learn at Super Sports and come here to Orlando Pirates and correct my mistakes if I need. The mistake that we make as South Africans generally is that we only start looking at the players as the players once they play for Sundowns, Pirates, uh, Kaiser Chiefs. And I'm just going to speak on behalf of the fans. You know, not, it's a very few that would go and know a talent better. Take us through the transition from the talent that played at Supersport, literally unknown to many a few weeks, months ago, and now being here, being recognized even on the street playing your first match at Orlando Stadium. All of that is a lot to take in. Just take us through this transition. transition. Yeah, it is a lot to take in. As I said, it's a big institution around the world. So I feel like I should just be humble and play my football like I just did. And everything will fall into place. And not to forget the almighty Lord. Keep on praying, it's going to happen. If you speak it, then it's going to happen. And how, how has your life changed? Being a Toronto Pirates, uh, a lot changes, but for you, what exactly, what are those few or couple of things that has changed in your life? It's a lot of things that have changed because now people are looking. And what I can say is that whenever you're doing good, 
not everyone in their eyes you are doing good. So I feel like it's something that you need to swallow and say that whatever I'm doing, I mustn't stop doing because people will always talk, will always talk, whether it's good or bad. That's what I told myself after doing my I think Kevin Hunt is quite transparent. Um, what did he tell you that you were lacking? Um, I feel like I was lacking a bit of enthusiasm, that's how he said, and to press more. So when I came here, I feel like I worked on that, into pressing and attacking more and driving with the ball because he said it's one, one of my strengths. Patrick Masonani is one of those players that took the same route, similar to yours. How much of his influence has it been since you got to Pirates, knowing very well that he's a super sport product? Yeah, um, Patrick Masongani is a very close friend of me. So we spent time more when we were still at super sports. And the training times are not the same. So whenever I joined Orlando Pirates, the first message he sent me was like, Yo, bro, you must come here this season. <laughs> Not knowing that what he's saying is actually going to happen. So whenever we were talking, I was like, ah, uh-uh, La Parana, you need to work hard, you need to push. As long as you're coming from super sport and you don't lose the mentality of working hard, you'll surely get a chance here at Orlando Pirates because everything is free. As people, we normally do reflections of our own in terms of what is it that we've achieved in our lives. Now, looking at the talent at Supersport and the talent uh, right now at Orlando Pirates, what, what conversation are you having? You know, to say, uh, talent at Supersport, you could have done things better, but now you've been given a platform at Pirates, you know, to, to, to uplift yourself. So what conversations are you having with both talents? I'm having the conversations of, I should tell myself that I am the best when I wake up every day. And I feel like we all have a fair equality of playing. So as much as we have experience, but I must also fight for my position because I wasn't for chair because they don't know what I can do or they believed in me, so I must also believe in myself. So that's the mentality and conversation that I have to myself. About. You are not for chair to just stay and learn. You are also for chair to play and add value to the team. So I tell myself every day that I am the best also. You just didn't want to speak English, but I can tell that you are one of the boys that have got it here. Just give us, don't forgive us for this, but remember we're speaking on behalf of the fans. Status Bege Kaya, talent, you're well spoken and you're very, very articulate. How much of that has played a role in you being in this space? Yeah, so what I could say is that I was brought up in Durban, Ekas, Kwamash, and yeah, and I'm very proud to be brought up in the environment like that because I feel like I could cope anywhere I go because it's a very difficult place. But as much as it was difficult, my life wasn't difficult because I was following the rules of my parents. And one thing about my mom, she's very strict. She told me that if you want to play soccer, you must go to school. And my mom's sister is a principal, so I couldn't <laughs> get away without going to school. So the only time I had to play soccer was after school. You see, so I went to Greenwood Park Primary and I went to Sasha College for until mm, I matriculated. Excuse us, man. <laughs> Please, man. Yeah. Yeah, uh, sorry, man. Uh, what or who keeps you grounded? Because I mean, it's easy to get carried away, and and especially in a team like this, uh, knowing that this is just the start. And, and what does your name mean for you? Um, it's very funny because people always ask me this question. I don't know how to answer what my name means because it was given by my parents, which I also feel like they didn't have an idea of what sports I'm gonna play, but they knew that something is gonna happen by giving in this name. So I can't touch more there. I feel like it's my parents that could answer it. No, I mean for you, what does it mean? For me, looking at for me is to look up to my name as it's talent. So if I was given a chance, like playing for Orlando Pirates, I must do my best and believe that it's happening and this is real life. And what keeps you grounded? What keeps me grounded? I feel like it's how I was brought up. Being brought up by my parents, people didn't shout who knew that speaking to a child is when he listens. They didn't force violence. 
and I wasn't brought up by my father. I didn't have like a uh, father figure that's near me. But what I could say, my uncle played a huge role in being a father figure at the household, even though he didn't stay there. But I always tell myself that my mom and my mom's sister is my mother and father. That's what I told myself. And I told myself, if I don't work hard, then what am I going to become? Yes. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.